Hi, I'm Kathy, and I'm 54 years old, and 89% of people have more healthy functioning brain tissue than I have. I'm uh, experiencing severe brain atrophy uh, due to having had multiple sclerosis now for 32 years. I know an awful lot about uh, multiple sclerosis because I was born to a mother who also had it. There doesn't appear to be a first degree genetic link, although it seems to be becoming more uh, prevalent that people with MS have other MS patients in their families. Um, what I hope to do here is document my own experience with walking around uh, in the 11th percentile and sometimes the fog that it feels like, sometimes the gauze curtain I feel like I have pulled over my ability to think and sometimes speak. Um, and I also hope that I can teach you that, especially if you're beginning your MS journey, you never need to end up here. So how do I know I'm in the 11th percentile? Well, I had a test when I had one of my last MRIs within a year or two, and uh, about six months ago, I got a result back um, from an MRI that included something called a neuroquant. Neuroquant can measure the healthy brain volume and show uh, how much atrophy has occurred. So it was pretty alarming to both me and my neurologist, my MS specialist, that I'm in the 11th percentile. So we made a plan of action. We decided on life changes I definitely needed to make anyway, really, um, and becoming involved with all of the types of therapies, physical, occupational, speech therapy, even art therapy to try to help keep my brain as active as possible, trying to form those new connections because the brain is more plastic, I think, than we realize. So how did I get here? I got here through a lot of laziness. I think when I was initially diagnosed with MS, I thought, well, my mom has MS. I know I can live with this. Um, and my expectation has always been or my, my measure has always been whether or not at a given time in my life I was better than my mother at the same age. Well, I'm way better than my mother was at 54, but it was still a very low bar, a very low expectation to set for myself. Um, I don't use that anymore. I am now way better than my mother was. She was very unlucky to have been diagnosed in 1971 before there were any treatments available. And I'm going to talk uh, on this channel also about what it's like to come from a family centered on multiple sclerosis and why I never created my own family uh, once I got my diagnosis. So it's an interesting place to be. It's a confusing place to be sometimes. I have no sense of direction. If I'm in a building, God help me if it catches on fire, I will never find my way out. Um, thank goodness for uh, the arrows that point on navigation systems in your car, or I'd be turning the wrong way constantly. Left and right has no meaning to me anymore. Um, let's see, reading comprehension is slow. Learning new tasks like making videos is nearly impossible for me, uh, but I've managed and I hope that this video will be your introduction to what life is like in the 11th percentile and that you'll come back to hear more, especially about how multiple sclerosis is a family disease. And I will see you soon. I do want to put a disclaimer on each of my videos. So if you've already watched this part before, you can watch it again as a reminder or you can skip it. <laughs> so, uh, what I want to say is I am not a healthcare professional and I speak pretty much from only my experience. Um, I can't uh, talk about anybody's, anybody else's journey with MS 
aside from mine and my mother's, because I don't know anybody else's uh, firsthand. All cases of MS are different. And if you ever hear me say something that disagrees with something you've heard from a medical professional, they are right and I'm wrong. I want to be very clear on that. I don't want anyone to ever assume that I know more than an actual healthcare professional. Um, so that's going to go on the end of my videos. And uh, otherwise, goodbye.